What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the iPal magnetic car phone mount I picked up using Amazon Prime for $16.99. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. We're going to see what comes in the box. We're going to see how easy this is to set up and we're going to see the quality of the product. What I like about this magnetic car phone mount is first and foremost, it's magnetic. Not quite sure if this is going to work if you have a MagSafe iPhone like I do, for example. But from what I do understand, what will come in the box is a magnetic piece that you attach onto the back of your phone. And that in turn connects to the phone mount itself. And we'll go over that in a little bit. What I also like about this magnetic car phone mount is the fact that you can mount it on your dashboard, which is actually a little bit better and a little bit more convenient than having it mounted in your window. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. I think $16.99 is a pretty fair price. I've bought car phone mounts at Target and Walmart, uh, and they are all around this price. Uh, the branding is a little bit different, but uh, this is a pretty competitive price. So let's go ahead and check this out and see what the quality of it's like. I'll be interested to see if it's a decent quality. It should be plastic for the most part. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here in front of us, we have the iPow Magnetic Car Phone Mount. Now you can mount this in the windshield if you'd like, and it actually has a really cool and interesting release mechanism. Uh, it's actually pretty intuitive looking. It's more intuitive than other mechanisms I've seen in other car phone mounts. So you can actually see that it's very similar in style to another car phone mount, also by iPow. This one is magnetic. Uh, the other one has a cradle it is not magnetic so yeah let's go ahead and get into this box here it's a pretty simple box i will go ahead and we'll just pull on this front tab here and we'll open up the box itself so right off the bat the first thing that i would want to say about this phone mount is it's actually a pretty nice heavyweight durable feeling sturdy feeling plastic uh, this arm here is actually very wide uh, it actually has some inserts, it has a throughput, so you could actually run a cable through it if you'd like. But I'm actually pretty satisfied with the way this looks. It's actually pretty beefy, it's pretty robust. Uh, if you have a couple of different devices, you can uh, pretty much have one in each device. So I have two cell phones. One cell phone will be getting one of these and another one will be getting one of these. And the other two, uh, I don't know, maybe if I pick up another, device and then last but not least in the box you do get the user manual here and it actually goes over the many very clever features of this magnetic car phone mount you can read it for yourself it even actually looks like it explains what that large red circle sticker is used for but we'll go ahead and go over pretty much everything that comes in the box here and uh, once we get it set up and how it all works together so let's go ahead and do that now so as you can see here, we have the arm. It actually has a couple of different pivoting joints. Uh, setting up is extremely easy here. You just attach the magnet to this ball joint here and it screws into place. What's really nice is once you get the mount set up on your dashboard or in your windshield, you can pretty much adjust the magnet 360 degrees here. It's on a ball joint. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out here is this is not an extended arm. There are longer arms uh, from other phone mount manufacturers that might make it just a little bit easier to reach out and touch your device. But if you actually unscrew this screw on the right hand side here, you can actually uh, adjust the magnet 180 degrees. So uh, if it's not vertical enough on your dashboard, you can actually rotate this arm 180 degrees. So there it is, 180 degrees this way, and then 180 degrees this way. Uh, and then you pretty much just tighten that down here at the base of the arm here. This one can actually pivot 140 degrees as you can pretty much see. Uh, so you can pretty much get it set up any way you want and then just screw it down into place and you'll be pretty much good to go. Uh, if it's not going to stick to your dashboard, this is meant to be used as a last result. So uh, you peel off this red sticker part, 
attach it underneath the suction cup, and then mount it to your dashboard. So that's just a last resort. This is actually pretty sticky, and I will uh, demonstrate actually just how sticky this is. So if you just let it clamp down onto the table here, you can actually see that I'm moving the table around. That's how sticky it is. And by the way, this is like a particle board type table. So already it's proving itself to be a pretty reliable, dependable product. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you do get four of these sticker magnets. So I peeled away the 3M sticker and just attached it on the back of my device here. And as you can see, the magnet is facing right side up. Uh, the convenience that it offers is actually astounding. As you can see, you can pretty much just attach it to the car phone mount. And it's actually so tight, even through the case here, that as you can see, I'm pivoting the 360 degree ball joint around as if it was attached to the phone itself. So you actually kind of got to get physical with it there and pry it off. But you can see it's just as simple as attaching it to the mount itself and then adjusting the ball head to pretty much whatever angle or position you want your phone in. And as you can see, even though we have the phone literally facing down right now, this is where gravity is working its hardest. You can see that the iPhone here, even in a case, is still holding on to this phone mount exceptionally well. And you can see it's, it doesn't move. It, it actually has some structural integrity, right? And last but not least, what I quickly just want to demonstrate here is, does this magnetic phone car mount work with MagSafe on the new iPhones? Uh, MagSafe is just a magnet with a battery power option integrated into it, but it's really just a magnet nonetheless. So it should work here. I don't see why it wouldn't, but uh, there is a reason why iPow hasn't advertised this on their webpage. And that's because if we actually connect the iPhone 12 Pro here, you can see that it does stick to the magnetic part of this phone mount. But as you can also see here, it's really not that secure. And in fact, the phone does eventually slide off. So even though it does technically uh, work with MagSafe, it does stick to the charger here. Uh, it does not support it. So let's go ahead and get this set up on the dashboard and on the windshield uh, to see just exactly how well this works in real life. I will see you outside. Okay guys, what is going on? So. We're just gonna quickly demonstrate what it's like to drive and interact with your phone. While it's connected to the phone mount, we're gonna see just how it works in real time so you can get a good idea if you wanna buy this product or not and how you're gonna set it up in your car. So uh, installing it is as simple as placing the mount wherever you want on the dashboard. And then pretty much uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just attach our phone here and we're going to maybe do a little bit of adjusting here like you would maybe adjust your mirror uh, before leaving for the morning. Uh, and as you can see, what I really like about this is it has the 360 degree ball joint. So I can actually uh, have someone in the passenger seat look at our directions if I need to. And then if I need to turn it back towards my face, I can do that as well. And this is actually fantastic for FaceTime calls. Now that I'm thinking about it, if you're in the car with your significant other, or maybe it's just yourself uh, having this perfectly adjusted to look at your face or uh, your significant other or your friend in the passenger seat is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a quick ride here. We're gonna just see exactly how well this works. There's a couple of little speed bumps along the way. So we're going to just see uh, the vibration effect on this magnetic car phone mount. Once we go over those uh, speed bumps, we've actually got one coming up right here. So we'll just, we'll actually go over it relatively quickly there. And as you can see, the phone mount does a great job of staying put. If I actually get the car up to about, I don't know, 15 or 20 miles an hour here, uh, we're going to go over a speed bump here. As you can see, it uh, shakes around just a little bit, but for the most part, it's extremely sturdy. And as you can see, 
there's no problem over that third speed bump. We went over that one the fastest, and that one was actually the tallest. So yeah, it's a very sturdy phone mount. I'm actually extremely impressed with it. Uh, one thing I also quickly just want to mention here, I just want to throw this out. Uh, there are two different types of plastic in this car. Just for reference, this is a 2018 Honda Accord. Uh, I've actually got like a soft matte plastic here on top of the dashboard and then the uh, main part of the dashboard that's mostly exposed to the sun is like a rubberized plastic. It's a little bit dusty right now, but uh, it's a rubberized soft touch uh, plastic as where the plastic that it's mounted on is like a sort of smooth, matte, shiny finish. Uh, it's a little bit less durable than the uh, rest of the dashboard that's exposed to the sun, but just to give you an idea, it can mount itself to this plastic and I have no doubt it can mount itself to this top plastic here. So uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown, uh, I actually forgot to stop at the store on the way home from my parents after dinner. Uh, this is Easter Sunday, uh, but I need toothpaste for work tomorrow. So we're gonna just take a quick trip to Walmart. They should be open till about 11. Hopefully they are still open because uh, I really need toothpaste for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and just get over here. Make sure no one's coming through the intersection here. And then we'll go ahead and pretty much just see how easy it is to interact with this device here. So uh, I think it does a pretty good job of staying put. That's actually one thing I kind of want to mention here is even though it's on the 360 degree ball joint, does it move out of its position on that ball joint? And uh, what I can pretty much say here is no, uh, but you be the uh, you be the person that judges that and you tell me if the camera's actually moved off my face a little bit because to me it looks like it hasn't moved at all but then again it's kind of dark out and I am driving so I'm not entirely focused but um, yeah you let me know has the camera angle moved off of my face since we've uh, started driving since we've started this segment uh, and that will actually give you a good idea as to how stable this car phone mount really is uh, but yeah another thing I really like here is if you want you can interact with the device while you're driving here even though that's not something I recommend uh, it is still possible and uh, if you do need to toggle back and forth between uh, your GPS for example uh, I know if you're in GPS you can uh, like change your routes and stuff depending on traffic uh, you can easily reach out and do that and touch your phone and do that and not have to worry about uh, throwing your phone off axis from the time you set it up so yeah I am actually thoroughly impressed with this iPal magnetic car phone mount uh, this is a fantastic buy. I do have a couple of other uh, phone mounts that I reviewed in the past, namely this phone mount here. Uh, this is another brand. I picked this up at Target. Uh, this one just pretty much attaches to the window here. It's got the cradle. It's a pretty decent uh, device. It's well made. And as you can see, it actually is a very sturdy uh, adjustable arm here. That's actually one thing uh, I want to point out is earlier in the video I was saying that this car phone mount doesn't really have that long of, of an arm and as you can see this window mounted phone holder does have a much longer arm but uh, now that I'm actually using this in real time uh, I can pretty much say that this is a great uh, angle and it's actually uh, very reachable and usable. It's really not a problem at all. It's not too far back that I can't access my phone or reach out to it in any way and interact with it. Uh, it's actually at the perfect reach here. It's at the perfect length. So maybe if I had this up in the window, it wouldn't be quite uh, as reachable, but maybe if I mounted it just a little bit further up the window, it would. So just something to consider. Either way, I think this uh, iPal magnetic car phone holder is absolutely phenomenal. And I love 
the easeability of it, the practicality of it, uh, and the durability of it. I think the build quality is fantastic. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the iPow Magnetic Car Phone Mount I picked up using Amazon Prime for $16.99. Today we did an unboxing and a first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it actually provided some insight. Uh, we did test this out to see if it worked with MagSafe, and technically it does, but watch the video because as you can tell from the video, uh, the phone just isn't all that secure. Last but not least, what I really liked about this product here is just how intuitive and clean and simple and easy it is to use. Today we did an unboxing and a first impressions. I really hope it provided some insight. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. We're about to pass an important milestone, a million views, so that is definitely something exciting and something that you'll wanna be a part of. But anyways, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. My name is John, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.